Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Uh, welcome back to everyone that's seen this video, new subscribers, old subscribers. You guys are the best. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, you can reach us on Facebook and Instagram. We go by Fanny and Jesse. Feel free to interact with us, become friends with us um educate us on certain things that we don't know and i don't know just reach out say hi suggest something drop us a link you can drop us a link on our social media you can actually drop us a link down below so just feel free to suggest anything that you want us to react to we'll definitely react to it drop the link down below and yeah just let us know we'll be we're back and hopefully this time nothing gets in our way of actually doing videos so i remember the last time we did videos was actually during ramadan but also that period i think we had exams or something so from there it's just been too too busy so from ramadan now we're here i hope you guys had a wonderful wonderful uh time during ramadan and i just hope you guys are doing all right and hope everything is going well so today i'm going to be reacting to this movie insulting prophets doctor so without wasting time let's get into uh the video assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters i hope you are well what do you think about islamophobia it's a fear of islam generally people don't know about islam and they fear what they don't know i don't know from which angle or what mindset they use to understand Islam that they misinterpret and even spread that word they talk about the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in insulting way auzu billah they talk about islamic law as if they have a phd in it trust me someone who has a phd will think twice about what is he even speaking sometimes i wonder are these people for real do they at least once think that they are going to face consequences for what they say and what they do still no rules are going to be changed according to the whims and fancies of people. It's going to be firm. It's us, human beings, who needs to change and adopt Islam in our lives as it's the way of salvation. Let me come straight to the point and I'll continue this after the news. Some of you might have seen this news. UK cinema chain cancels screening of blasphemous film after the protests. The headlines in The Guardian were Vine World cancels all showings of The Lady of Heaven after branches were picketed by Muslim activists. For those of you who don't know the background, the film, which was released last Friday in the UK, opens with the invasion of Iraq and then attempts to portray the story of Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha, the beloved daughter of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. by weaving together alleged events in her life along with the tale of a young Iraqi orphan in the present day some protesters say the film inaccurately depicts early muslim history it also negatively portrays islam's most important figures and stokes sectarian hatred the film which costs 15 million dollars to make has already been banned in egypt and pakistan in iran clerics have issued fatwas against watching it stating it will cause discord among Shia and Sunni Muslims. Nearly 120,000 people have also signed a petition demanding that the film be removed from UK cinema screens. Over the last few days, thousands of Muslims have demonstrated outside Sign World venues in Bradford, Leeds, Sheffield, Birmingham, Bolton and elsewhere. All protests have remained peaceful and police have not had to intervene any of them. Speeches at the protests have focused on condemning the film for sectarian hate and honoring the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions. And the film's producer Malik Shilbak has told the Guardian cinema should stand up and defend their right to show films that people want to see. Astaghfirullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. How dare people play with fire? We need to be cautious and surround ourselves with good people. Nowadays Films are lifestyle. Everybody watches them. Alhamdulillah, Muslims have been able to express their concern and get this film removed. We have shown unity, not just here, but also when it comes to answering the France. 
Last time, when they came up with something similar, some Muslim countries have taken economic boycott of France. That's the unity we need. We need to be strong so that we can stand up for our fellow brothers and sisters in Islam. As I was telling you, Islam is the way of salvation, 100%, without any doubt. We don't have the pictures of the Prophet Muhammad We don't draw him like how other nations draw their prophets and gods. He lives in the hearts of Muslims. People follow him. It's called Sunnah. You follow whom you love. It was like a breath in the fresh air seeing Muslims coming together for the honor of Prophet Muhammad Now think about how true is Islam. It's 100% worth the sacrifice you're gonna make in this dunya. It's just a little for eternal life. It's difficult to stay on haq, to stay different, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy. Be proud, be a good Muslim. That's it for today brothers and sisters. What do you think about this incident? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. It's an interesting video. How exactly is the Prophet's daughter insulted in the movie? I haven't seen it, so I'm sure someone out there has seen it. Hence, uh, people are coming out and saying, This is not us, we don't want to see such in the cinema. Although, when it comes to movies, what's going to sell is the controversy at the end of the day. I wouldn't be shocked if this movie received so much hate you find it on netflix or any other big big platforms you understand um movies are always going to do the most in depicting how uh, a certain should i say not just religion because it's how a certain people a group of people actually live or go about their business um they always add a twist for the sake of entertainment always add a twist for the sake of the drama they always the movie industry does the most at the end of the day they just do too too much like hmm, it's, it's very very tough i mean there's movies like the exorcism of god someone would even wonder how that's possible i haven't seen that as well um there's movies that depict black people in a certain way there's movies that depict Af movies, documentaries that depict Africa in a certain way, movies that depict Muslims in, in a certain way. It's like an ongoing trend. That's where the market is. That's why they keep on making movies like this. They keep on putting out stuff like that, not knowing it's damaging how people are looked at. It's damaging how it's just damaging. Not just the outlook of things. It affects a lot of things on the ground that people are not ready to talk about. But we're so ignorant that we're entertained just by anything that we turn a blind eye and just say, you know what, I don't care what these other people are saying. If it affects them, it's affecting them, it's not affecting me, I'll still go ahead and watch that movie. So then how do we move from there? Um, I really don't know how to move from there. I'm trying to think. We should just learn to respect people's history. Don't twist it. Don't do what, of course, sometimes... Uh, certain things are improvised when writing a movie you don't follow the actual the actual um story it's a crazy world it's a crazy crazy world and the movie industry won't stop for anyone and as much as people boycott they're still not going to stop but what's amazing is this much people is it 1,000 100 20 he said 120,000 I think that's a number he said if as if people if that amount of people can come up and say uh uh we're boycotting this it's amazing because not many people want to stand up and say this is wrong people just take it as ah oh, it's life ah oh, it's life we'll make another movie we'll watch it they'll do another one we'll we just ignore it. You can't ignore everything in life. Stand up for yourselves and speak out. Speak up for what you believe in. If something is not done right, learn to say something. Don't just sit and take everything as it is. Let me know what you guys 
think your comments are always welcome if there's something that you guys want us to react to drop the link down below please make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video